I forgot to say this at the beginning, but can I? I, I really had a great weekend. Not only mm. did I see Burl win, mm-hmm. I saw Patty beat Josh Allen mm. in a phenomenal game. But you know what the icing on the fucking cake was? What's that? What's that? You already know what game I'm going to. Which one? The white man finally got that mm. ticket down. <laughs> Boy, hey, hey, yo, hey. And hey, everybody was trying to give it hey, to you. Hey, bro, I was so pissed <laughs> in that game, man. <laughs> I was like, I thought it was going to be a fuck. I felt like how the uh, the Falcons fans felt. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was coming. Hey, it I was, was coming. Like, hey, we about to blow these motherfuckers out. It I'm was turning coming. the game. I'm about to order some wings, roll up. It was coming. I cut back on the game. You know what it was? What pissed me off? What I knew it was about. Oh shit! That was my all shit moment. Cam Akers fumbled before mm-hmm. the half. Mm-hmm. I, I, I was like, "That's three to seven points." Okay, I let it go. Then when I bro, when I seen that snap go all the way back, I was like, that's, <laughs> "What that's I say in the chat?" I was like, "Bro, God wants Tom Brady to win. Yeah, the football yes. gods want Tom Brady yes. to win." Yeah, I knew that fumble was crucial the moment it happened, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Cause it was a stupid fumble." Yep. Yep. But that shit only fucking happens to Brady, bro. Mm-hmm. It, I've been yeah. watching this man since he fucking stepped on the fucking field. Mm-hmm. I've seen every goddamn thing. This is not coming from a place of ignorance. Mm-hmm. So, and, and and I've seen this man get so fortunate every single time. It mm-hmm. only fucking happens to him. You're right. It makes absolutely no fucking You're sense. Right. A fucking snap over the head after you get forced a fumble. Like, how does that fucking happen? Yeah. I've never seen a back-to-back turnover like that. Nah, but but it doesn't it speak to that the that team know the fact that they were getting tight. Who who was getting tight? The Rams. The Rams. How were they getting tight when they were up by like twenty something? The the Rams got tight. They 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 were were tight. They were making. They started making some careless. Yes, I'm talking about from the coach's standpoint. Now we now I'm I'm a clear player too. I'm not well uh, there too, but I'm but I'm not talking about. Uh, Matt Stafford, because he was he was okay. He's been the it glue was, of this whole team. Yeah, it was it was it was the others. But I did wonder, and I asked in the chat. I don't know if y'all remember, but I asked on that first fumble. They were they had probably like it was like a minute left in the half, mm-hmm. and they were in the red zone, and they ran the ball three times. And I'm saying now, you got Matt Stafford, you got Cooper Cup, you got OBJ. Why are you not throwing? Because they were already up. Was it twenty to three at that point? They this go. Is they Brady. They was scared. This is Brady. You you put the ball in the hands of your best players, but I thought they were going to score anyway. I thought it was like you could this Cam right. Akers, Cam go, Akers is a decent, he's a de- decent back. To to your point, Shelton, I'll let you get back to it. When you're saying it was Brady, they did it because it was Brady. So and mm-hmm. what I mean by that is like we're gonna try to bleed this clock so he don't get another. Mm-hmm. If we score keep too him, fast, he get the ball the back. Line. So he was trying to he was trying to play it both ways, mm-hmm. you know, and and it and it didn't work. But I'm with you, man. Like. When that ball got under like a minute, you can at least throw it a couple of times. Right. Brady, Brady with those guys on the field, man, Brady, he ain't gonna march down the field. He ain't marched down the field all game. Right. Yeah, he, he doesn't have the weapons right now. He was throwing picks. He and was shit fucking too. Yeah, he was yeah. fucking up. Hey, all I know That's what is he did that last year. The defense bailed him out and they almost bailed him out again. Mike mm-hmm. Evans, that one on one with Jalen. He made Jalen quit. Bruh. So, yeah, and so, Jalen asked for him too. Yeah, he asked yeah. for him because it was like the pos- right after that possession, yep. and he took him and he got bombed. So even though I don't think he had the weaponry to do that, and then obviously that that front seven for the Rams had his number all, all day, day long. They, they couldn't stop Von Miller and um your boy um, Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald. So did you see the impact of Aaron Donald? Or I saw. I saw the impact of Von Miller more than I see Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald had a couple of good. Aaron Donald had some good. There is there is there is. I was gonna say to Ken's point, Von Miller released Von that strip sack won the game. Yeah, yeah, they scored. It did. Yeah. See, but see, but 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 the difference of what Aaron Donald brings, and you saw it all game. You got to double triple team. You have to every time. So so that's the reason why he don't get the stats, but the impact. And not saying that. Look, I put it to you like this: Von Miller would have still had an impact that game if there was no Aaron Donald. But why he got it? Why he was in Brady's grill like that? Was because of the double and triple teams every fucking play. Ask him, he'll tell you. <laughs> every play, ca- every single yeah. play. Look, I was in the chat. I was like, I, I, I'm waiting on Vaughn and Dar- Donald to you step didn't say up. That. And Vaughn, mm-hmm. I was like, Vaughn came and got a strip set. That next and play, <laughs> the fucking damn center gave that shit I don't right know back. How that shit happened? And but, I, but the um, like you say, you have the game plan for for a player like Aaron Donald. You have 100%. the game plan for him. That whole old line when they get the hey, 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 hey where you see where you at? Oh, he on this side. Now. He on this side. You, you know, how you, yeah, you know how you calling out linebackers. Mm-hmm. Going back, to, going back to what you said about the Mike Evans uh 
touchdown bomb over Ramsey. Mm-hmm. Ramsey fucked up twice. He really almost cost him the game with that uh what was it? The uh roughing uh what was it? He that was Weddle. No, 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 no. Nah. That was Weddle? That wasn't Ramsey. That was Weddle. Yeah, they who hit, hit who hit him he, after Mike Evans, yeah. Oh, okay. the ball had was... just hit the ground. That was Weddle. The ball had just now, hit. Ramsey played a good game. He got beat. Yeah. But overall, he 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 had a dude on lock. Yeah, for, yeah, that was that was that was an isolated. In case they had lock and he got a touchdown. Over I mean, no, he, and that was a that key majority touchdown. Of the game, one but, mistake. Yeah, I was gonna say Mike Evans didn't do like it wasn't a Gabriel Davis that day. It wasn't it wasn't a big day like a um Cooper Cup day. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So in saying that, he held Mike Davis in check. Mike you. Davis was the number one, two, and three receiver for for Man, Tom Brady. Cooper Cup fucked that whole D. All them DBs up. Yeah, bro. They couldn't do nothing. He was the best, the best receiver. In the he league. was almost I, Cooper. Fuck. Yeah. When he damn fumbled that goddamn ball. He did. So so I saw where Aki Talib was talking about defending Cooper Cup, and he said what separate why Cooper Cup is so great is is the at his top of his route. Mm-hmm. So when he's about to break, when he breaks down and you don't know where he's going to go, Akeem said that him and Marcus Peters needs to come on to a show and explain they how do. and why Cooper Cup is so great. So he saw it for like first so, hand. firsthand in practice mm-hmm. all the time. He's like, bro, me and Marcus Peters couldn't guard this guy. Mm. And that's saying something. Cause that's because those were two man corners at you know was Akeem island was there, corners, yeah. and it was there, bro. Like those were two. Of the, that was arguably the best t- uh, cornerback tandem in the league at the time, mm. and they couldn't guard Cooper Cup in practice. Right. So hey, that's crazy. Q, I want to ask you a question since we kind of bearing the lead with this game. Has Matt Stafford silenced all his haters after Hell Sunday's no. win? Thank you, Q. Hell no, he ain't silenced. I'm trying to tell haters. y'all. Nigga almost choked that shit away with that fumble in the end. He should have fucking lost to that tell shit. Y'all. I'm sorry, but no. No, first of all, first of all, Matt Stafford, we everyone everyone who's saying, oh, Matt Stafford, he silenced the critics. Y'all know y'all buttholes was tight because he could have threw a pick at any moment the minute they had to rely on him. The Cam Makers had, what, three, four turnovers or something? I don't well, know what happened to him. It has, to, it has to do with the fact that now they had to rely on Stafford to throw the ball. And then towards the end... He didn't. He wasn't ready for a snap. That was a choke. And then that wasn't the him. Fuck, it don't that matter. Him. It don't. It don't matter. I don't care. I don't care because we do this with black QBs all the time. I'm not gonna give excuses to no one of these QBs in the playoffs. Catch the fucking snap. So he choking there, and then he choking in the end when he almost fumbled the ball there. So and you shouldn't even be in a position on, to have Brady come back like you. You know what I mean? He, you shouldn't be, even be that. Keywords and and pretty much everything he almost. said almost almost yeah yeah I almost bro, bro almost is almost is damn near is like bro. <laughs> hey look, 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 look. okay look, look. what the fuck that mean bro <laughs> that's is like he's saying but it's shit is almost see, 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 see. Hold on. This is the same see, shit hold on I'm... see see here's the thing everybody want me to give all these stats and shit fuck the stats for the last month I'm not on stats in 2022 I'm going off of eye test and feel because that's what we on now so. When it comes to Matthew Stafford, you should not be in a position to where you have a walk off field goal. Y'all was whooping their ass. So the fact is, how many points when you almost bump, I think it was like 10 points in the second half, like 77 yards in the second half. Bruh, if you that guy, you supposed to bury, we're supposed to bury Brady. So what? So wait, 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 wait. So you want to excoriate Aaron Rodgers for not getting down the field and at least getting the field goal to win the game, but we're not going to give props for the quarterback that actually did that. Yeah, and that didn't I'm have the to. fumbles that you're talking about. Cause number one, it was a shotgun formation. Obviously Matt Stafford is looking to his right, calling. He's the quarterback. I got a quarterback, this whole fucking shit. And then you throw the ball. That has nothing to do with me. I did not hike that shit. Number one, number two, that fumble that wasn't really a fumble because four, he, fum, four fumbles in that game. On well, well, I'm just I'm just I'm just I'm just talking about the one that you talking about. Yeah. When 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 Stafford went down, the ball did come loose, but Stafford got with that motherfucker. Yeah. It wasn't a fumble loss. It didn't hurt them. At the end of the day, Stafford did everything that was asked of him to win the game, and that's the, what he did. Let me say at this. The end, me, at, at the end of the day, the Rams did everything to lose that game. And the Rams! Let me say, but we're yeah. talking about Stafford. And Stafford Stafford part of the Rams. And Stafford's part, part of the Rams. And Stafford's part of the Rams. And Stafford's part of the Rams. And what we're not going to do is put Matthew Stafford in the same even sentence as Aaron Rodgers, because he's not even in that stratosphere. But right. he, at the end of the day, Matthew Stafford contributed to the Rams doing everything to lose, lose that, that game. What so how? Go, 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 go ahead, Sean, because I, I, got, I, got I got something to say. Go ahead, Sean. Say that. I, the only thing I was going to say was, yeah, I, I admit that Matthew Stafford had an awesome game. I, he, he did. He played. 
I, I'll agree with you on some of those things. I don't agree with that part he's saying. But what I will say is this, and it's something that I'm, I'm going to state clearly, and I say the same things. I, I I thought it was telling that they didn't give him a chance to throw that ball in, in, in the end of the first half. I thought it was telling that they struggled a little bit in the second half. I also feel like Matt did what it took, and they did win the game. That's 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 the mm -hmm. – we always talk about that. Mm -hmm. You won the game. Mm -hmm. That's what's important. But what I'm saying is I, I still can't – I can't say it was all Matt. You know what I'm saying? Those other guys had great games no, too. No, 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 no. That's finish. what everybody is. I'm getting a lot of that. I get a lot of you got to say you know he he does he that he yeah, he played great. He did what I expected him to do. No, you didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, no, you no. The fuck he did. did. You just said do what that you expected him to you do. You just said it was what, telling. What, what, Why what, didn't shit? Yeah, no. yeah. Let me no no hold on. Let me walk that back. <laughs> he did, and, and I didn't say that right. I I, I, I I'm, but I let y'all. Yeah, you realize he did. Yeah, no, no, I did not say that right. He did what was expected of him to do. Not me. I didn't mean to say I. I meant to say he did what was expected of him to do, which is come out and have a good game, do a job. Yeah, that's it. And that's and and but that to me is still, I still you know what I'm saying I'm I'm still not gonna crown like this is the Matt Stafford type thing. He had he got a full deck. He should be doing this. Should he not? Then I did I not say that last weekend. Should he not? Did I not say this is what they was going they was going to say last week? Should he week. not? I was like, watch watch Stafford win, and y'all gonna say he because Q brought that up. I was like, he damn if he do, he damn if he don't. Mm. He should win a Super Bowl because the team stack, or if he loses the Super Bowl, he should have won because the team stack. Brady I, had a full deck, and it's like, oh, no, it's Super Bowl the bus. Hold on, let me read this because I'm gonna <laughs> yes. pass it. To, I'm gonna pass it to the person yeah, that actually, Donald, with the Von good brother Miller. that actually sent this to me right at them to write the next day after this game, and this is a stat. In the final seconds of the division round, Matthew Stafford led uh, the 43, the 43rd game-winning drive of his career. He now has the most game-winning drives, including playoffs, since entering the NFL in 2009. Why did you send that to me, sir? Man, who cares? Well, first of all, we need data to back up mm -hmm. uh, some of these misconceptions that we mm -hmm. hear about Stafford. Mm -hmm. um, great quarterbacks can do that, um, mm -hmm. and those numbers are not fluke mm -mm. at all. Um, the proof is in the pudding. The numbers don't lie. So I know Q don't want to hear about stats because I watched that game too. Q, we all watched together. Man, Tony um, Romo had to You want me to read, of, you want me to read him his, his stats go real ahead. quick before you go? I mean, you can, yeah. Matthew Stafford had over 300. He had 366 yards, Great two game. tubs, with, a, uh, with an average yard of 9.6. 28 and the, for 38. And, and, and that's with, in the second half, um, McVay uh, deciding he's going to play scared. And, and and Q and Shelton, I, I, I understand your your point and I understand why you're looking at it this way. And uh, because there's a clear bias that you guys have because you guys saw it one way. When I'm watching it, I'm like, oh, Matt Vay's scared to do anything. No, right I now. agree. I, like I said, I agree. I, but I, you just I'm, said that why is he, why is Matt Vay? That's it what I'm saying. saying. It Which one is it? No, I'm saying why was he scared though? Was he scared because he sees something that we don't see? No, he was. It was. He wasn't. He was scared of Brady. He got conservative. So you're saying the fear was for Brady, not for it yes, wasn't not, not Stafford. For Stafford to make Stafford a lit their ass up. It, Stafford lit their ass up in the first uh, in the whole first half. And the one time he did call a pass play, it was a rollout. He threw it to Cooper Cup, his guy. And what the fuck, Cooper Cup do? Fumbled, Fumbled the goddamn ball. ball. So if you you see your team unraveling as a coach, I felt like he started to unravel because. Um, as well, there's the fumble at the half. At, at half, there's um, there's the the snap. Like that whole team got tight and scared. I'm a hundred percent agree. The only person that did was Matthew Stafford, and Stop. I felt like Matthew Stafford may have been like, "Yo, just give me a fucking shot." You know, I don't know. I don't know what was on the sideline, but for me, McVay was clearly tight, and you could see it mm -hmm. on his is fucking he, face. Is he, is he, is he now, now I can take that because, like I said, I was seeing it a different way. That, like I said, I'm looking at it like. Dang, this this Sean McVay, like he he kind of know what he got, and if it's, it's got to be a reason he doing this because let, let, let's be honest. And then I want to what, but, but I, 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 I want to think about it. From that. I didn't think about it from that angle. Yes, because it, think know, about man. it. McVay knows what he got, but he knows what's on that fucking sideline. It's seven fucking Super Bowls, and how did he win all of them shits? I ain't trying to give him no time. So yeah, his butthole out of everybody out there, including <laughs> Cam Akers, he had the tightest butthole. <laughs> he did. Especially when they blew that, as a, Stafford saved his fucking ass. He did. If we really, there was Sean, two players. There was two players that saved Sean McVay: Stafford and Von Miller. It was yes. those two guys. McVay but, had a man. Kyle Shanahan meltdown hey, hey, on hey, that hey, sideline. Hey, hey, don't talk, don't talk negative uh, about my so guy. So Q, like what, what, what's your retort, brother? <laughs> man, they got, man, they got that NFC 
all defensive team. I'm not trying to hear no Matthews ever brought the team home. I don't know who who, who bought that trash stat up. But Matt, Matthews never got the most comebacks. Tony Romo had the same amount of comebacks, man. Nobody want to hear that. Like has when Tony it comes, Tony Romo ever been to a championship title game? Mm. Fam, mm. put Tony Romo on on this same team. It probably the same thing happened because they both both just as good as as, as if each other. That's the case. You can put Jesus on this team. He'll be the same. Bro, shit. Bro, bro, you, can put, you, you can put shit. any you, you can put team. any above average QB on this Rams team. Sean McVay is gonna make that okay. QB look great. That's a lie. We I saw it. Jared McGuff. How? Jared Goff is not above average. He's average. He took him to the Super Bowl. Jared Goff. And he's running to the Zubo. So, uh, man, yeah, but he's average he's QB, man. Yeah, but they had the best running back in the game at the time. And that's what I'm saying, bro. The they got, bro, they got the NFC All-Star team on defense. Jalen Don't Ramsey, they? Von Miller, Aaron Donald. Of course, bro. And, Ken, I just completely disagree with the fact that they say that Stafford brought it home and he didn't get tight. Stafford was missing throws in the second half. Yeah, y'all didn't see that. 10, 10 the whole game, bro. In a, how many in the second half? 10 the whole game. But what how many in the second half? 28, 38. <laughs> Maybe like two or three. I don't know. How, 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 how many, how many he key played. throws did he miss in the second he half? He made the fucking key throw. He made two key throws. Who gives bro. a fuck? Why are we, why are we nitpicking on so stupid now, shit so like now, this? So like real we, talk. We, like, what the fuck are y'all talking so about? now we don't give a fuck. So now we don't give a fuck. Bro, y'all are giving Matthew Stafford so much for having this deck stacked. I just can't. I can't see what y'all are seeing with this so, whole. He so sounds crazy. Res- so why should we respect Brady's last Super Bowl? Why should we respect Brady's last Super? Bowl? What are you talking about? Because he had a clearly a stacked deck. Okay, what about the five before that? No, 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 no. We're talking about the last one, Q. Oh, so now we just gonna take about one. I'm talking about context for his whole career. Stack. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. We're whole talking career. about a stack. You, you, you. You keep bringing you up brought this up team. a stack. You, deck. You, okay, you brought, so yeah, you okay, so team. Brady, so Brady beats the best quarterback in in the game, and then we're not supposed to care about that. Matthew Stafford beats Brady. Brady at 38 years old sucked in the playoffs last year, and the defense bailed him out. So now, when that, when Matthew Stafford's defense is all star level. But, but, but Q, that doesn't matter. But Q, what? Hold on. Are you trying to say that the Rams won because now that was a team effort? Now it was a team yes. effort, but it came down to the quarterback having to make plays to win the game. With forty-three. Seconds. Yes or no? The, the, answer the question, the, Q. Don't pull a can on me. The Bucks did, defense did, wait, 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 hold on. is terrible. Did the Rams that game. game Are y'all serious? Down, hold, on, hold on. I want to reframe it for everybody else, including yourself. Did the Rams Bucks game come down to the Rams quarterback having to make plays to win the game? Cooper Cup burned a terrible defense. <laughs> See? See? I, the triple I, crown. I, I, I the the triple right crown. The triple look, crown look. winner. The triple crown winner burned a terrible defense. That's not what I'm and asking. And put the Q, ball on him. Q, what I am asking is. Did the Rams quarterback have to make plays in the last minute of the game to win that game? After yes the coach fucked no. up the whole goddamn yeah, shit. Yes or no? The Rams rallied yes in the no. end. The Rams, the Rams did in fact rally in the end after blowing a lead. <laughs> to then, yeah, Matthew Stafford saved the day after blowing a lead. Yes, that's 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 what Matt, happened. Matt didn't blow the lead. Hey, look, I was because Q's Q's TV was ahead of mine, and, and we were, you know, we were uh, chatting yeah. in real time. And I looked in the chat, also it was, was well, damn, because Q was like Brady about <laughs> to win this thing in OT. <laughs> A couple, of <laughs> yeah, like, well, damn. It. And then I saw the play. I was like, oh shit, this motherfucker yeah. actually threw. I was like, how the fuck that happened? And the defense coordinator, I don't know what the fuck he was thinking. We talk about the Bills fucking up on defense, you know, in the last thirteen seconds, like. Why would you do an all-out blitz? Maybe they were I'm they sorry. were thinking they were probably thinking what y'all were thinking. Oh, we're okay, gonna tight. blitz Stafford and yeah. make Stafford. I'm tight. saying, yeah, no, nah, I'm saying, they read the game. Here, yeah. Here's here's yeah. the thing, you. Like, I'm not trying to say that put Stafford on this elite level or anything. I've I've always I've just since this thing has happened, trying to understand like the hate against Stafford or the lack of certain respect that this man has had him because. When he was in Detroit, we clearly mm-hmm. saw organizational failure, and he didn't have a stat deck. He had one guy, you know, and we saw with a competent Q, uh, coach what he was able to do. 
We also saw there was a period of time, I don't know if you guys remember this, remember when they were the comeback cats? Y'all remember they would be down all the time and used to come back and win all these games late? The cardiac cats. Cardiac cats, whatever. They used to do all this yeah. shit with, with uh, fucking uh, uh, Megatron and shit like that. Mm-hmm. So Stafford has always had the ability to play, but it's like we never could visual, we never could really see it because we didn't know who he was. So when he comes to the Ram, and yeah, man, he'd be like, oh, overhyped, this, that, and the other. So my, you know, and they were like, I don't believe it, I don't believe it. And I was like, the man can play, he just, he just stuck in the trash organization. And B would tell you that. Um, my issue necessarily isn't with you, Q. Um, Mine is. You know, fully, because <laughs> I, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's whatever. My thing is, because you didn't go into specific details, right, mm-hmm. about mm-hmm. what you wanted to see Stafford do to mm-hmm. change your mind. Mm-hmm. When it, this man did. Bro, when, I did. Bro, when, bro, and when Manny, I did. And, y'all know no, the, I did. Manny is noticeably absent. No, no, what I said, what I said, what I said was clear. I said that I, I like to see his back against the wall. I like mm-hmm. to see him make a comeback. I like to see if we switch roles with him and what Brady had to go through. That's that's just what I wanted to see. Okay. But the man played well. I, I'm not wait, taking wait, that wait, away wait, from him. No, no. So, but so did he not I'm just confused. hit all them pin points that I, you I just said? I was going to ask you. Every that. single one. He came back. His back was against the wall. He made every throw he needed to make. Well, like what, what else he, he wanted to do? Game, that's, game that's on the line. Game on the line. That was something else, man. He said, mm-hmm. game on the line. I want to see Brady. a match. Yep. Yeah, I said, no, I said, and I said, I admitted that. I said, he played well. Man, I said, I, I never, see, the thing about it is I never doubted Stafford's talent. I never said this man was not talented. If you listen to what I say, I never say that. We're not talking. People I always just say, people always go not, to the. I'm not talking about his talent thing. Wait, I know. Get it damn well. You're not talking about his talent. <laughs> I know. We're what talking I, about the play. Talking about, we're talking about performance. Talking about, what I'm talking about is the, the quarterback that has played San Francisco and lost the last six times. Well, but he played them last six. We're times. talking about he the Rams the and times. the Bucks. And, and what I'm saying is that that game against San Francisco showed me a lot about what he was. And I'm saying y'all keep saying he this. But I saw that. We talking about the Rams and the you talking about a regular season ass game. So that's why and I'm talking about a man who's going but, to the but, NFC title game. That's why I say what I say. I say what I said because he got to play them again. Shelton, let, 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 and, and this this is a question for everybody. Is the expectation for a QB is to not have any bad games or throws? Yes. No, for, no, no. For these no. motherfuckers, yes. No, no, no. You, he he had he had a, a, a bad stretch. Which which we had quarterbacks with good stretches that ended up bad. He did. He you had a bad saying? stretch. No, Stafford finished the season. Uh, he he was turning the ball over like he had a bad stretch. And that's that's it. That's it. So I wanted the consistency, and he's he but he played well. Prior to that, he played really really well. Oh, he so did, he yeah. went through a bad stretch towards the end of the season, and, but and, that wasn't indicative of his whole season. And Cooper no, Cup and Cooper no. Cup didn't get that triple crown until Stafford got there. Mm. Cooper Cup was nice though. You, you said it yourself. He wasn't the best wide receiver he was nice, in the league. Nice. He wasn't the best exactly. wide receiver in the league. No, and then he. And was you, but, but before this season, would you ever say was it, where was Cooper Cup on your wide receiver rankings? Not top. Was he top five? Was he top three? Was, he was up there with me because I, I I had him on my fantasy team. But I thought when he hurt, when he tore his ACL, he was. I thought he was pretty much going to drop down the pack. But Cooper Cup always been talented. But how, was, he, was, he, was he on your list of top three? I mean, that's, was that's, he on your list of top three? That's a rise of a player. And he does have a better quarterback than Jared Goff. Matthew Stafford is much better than Jared Goff. I, I agree with that. So, again, what else does Matthew Stafford have to do? Because he beat the GOAT of all QB GOATs. Is it Super Bowl or bust for this team? Because yes. I think so. They put all the chips in. in so, in, there you go. But 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 he did what he was ha- what he had to do on the journey to a SB. So, there you go. So, the question I ask, too, is what if they have a bad game next game? What, what if, if he has a bad game next what, game? Why are you? So, so because I'm asking a question. Why are you framing it that way? What because if, I'm you can say that about anybody. Questions. What if this player has a bad? Okay, well then they had a bad game. What the fuck are we gonna talk about? They're having a bad game. But that's what I'm saying. So you saying it like he's arrived. But if you have a bad game, I didn't game, say he game, was arrived. The goal, if the goal is Super Bowl, and he don't win the Super Stafford Bowl, Stafford was always he, here. There is no arrival. I, yeah, like he's already been established in the yeah, league. Yeah, he's an established he, quarterback. He, he, he was, he was so in a bad. So he, he was in a bad organization. Look, let's not act like Matthew Stafford ain't throw for 4,500 plus yards and 30 plus touchdowns with and without Megatron. Let, let's not Terrence act just, like that. Terrence just said it in the chat. He said at no point did anybody look at any of those Detroit teams and say this is a Super Bowl winning roster of or contender. We talking about with this team. This team is Super Bowl or bust, correct? That's what they, they want to do. They want to win the Super Bowl. Bowl. Their expectation is the Super Bowl. And I'm pretty sure that Stafford's expectation, just like when Brady went to the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. it was a Super Bowl or bust. Just mm-hmm. like this year was supposed to be a Super Bowl or bust. Uh, oh, a few teams had Super Bowl or bust as like this year. Dallas, Mahomes, Dallas, 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 Dallas. Okay, um, well, Green Bay, definitely. 
Super I don't Bowl think it was Super Bowl or bust. But yeah, we ain't talking about Dallas, are we? It, it, it was yes, Super Bowl. Why, why or we no ain't Why we ain't talking about Dallas not living up to Dak living up to the hype? We we get on that. But I ain't bringing the hype. Don't look at me, Steve. I said what I say. I said Dak is top ten at ten. That's right. He's more like top ten at seventeen. Don't do that to Dak, man. Come on, man. But no, I, I I just I want to see you know like I said I I, I want to I want I'm interested in seeing this next round, I am and I'm not saying just, to prove anything for Matt, Matt Stafford to me. Mm-hmm. He had a great game. I admitted that. I said, hey Matt impressed me this past game because I didn't think he was gonna be able to show up. I figured that the team would, and I figured that the team would play well, which they did. Mm-hmm. But I didn't think Matt was gonna play well. I didn't. And and just to kind of backtrack a little bit because Manny isn't here, he said he also said the same shit about Josh Allen too. Mm-hmm. Now he's kind of he he's come around on his three sixty five. He was like Josh Allen stepped up. I got so, I got to come around on Josh you know, Allen too. I was talking hella shit. Yeah, man. So I t- uh, uh, unlike Shelton. Manny is all, you know, he's willing to be like, you know what? I yes, just said bro. it. Did nah, I nah, nah. It? You're, you're trying, you're trying to give Super yourself some bus. leeway for next. Yep. Yep. You're hedging I, I'm, it. Nah, I, you're hedging I ain't going to change it. Because he's going to bring up that same punk ass question it. he brought he, up just now. He proved it wrong, it. and now he's going to move the goalposts, which I is what Shelton does. I ain't moving Caleb McCoy. Ken, I'm not moving no goalposts. My goalpost bro. stays the same. No goalposts move. Super Bowl or bust. Y'all are the ones What was your question that you asked? What was the question you just asked? Y'all are the ones that's going to change. Shelton, what was that? I'm going to move on after you say this. I said, y'all are the fair weather fans that switch up. What was the question you asked us? Then go with the flow. Which one? What was the question you asked us just recently? Which one? About next week's game. What did you say? I said if he if he plays bad in the next game, what y'all gonna say then? I'm talking about y'all. I'm that's not that's not me. moving the goalposts. No, I said what y'all gonna say. Y'all the ones that be moving. I need the goal to go post. back and listen because I remember me. I remember when Shelton and Manny was on that bullshit. I remember saying, Why do why does Matthew Stafford have to do all of that to prove that he can play the position or whatever we were debating? And then he went out and did all of that. Against and now Shelton uh, Yeah. And now Shelton was like, All right, well shit, well, let he me won. see. You know, Manny even said in the chat, beat the Niners. It was like, nigga, he you just, just beat the Bucks. Nah, I ain't not only beat the Bucks. No, nah, I ain't say checked, I ain't say he, one game. I've been saying this whole time. They gotta win the Super Bowl. No, 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 Should no, they? no, no. You Don't they got superior talent. You and what? Manny created a very specific scenario mm-hmm. that you wanted to see from Matthew Stafford last week. And he did it. And Manny did the same thing for Josh Allen. And Josh Allen did it multiple times in that game mm-hmm. against I did. Patrick Mahomes. And he did it. I did, y'all, yeah. y'all just, y'all just never but, fucking satisfied, but bro. But no, I'm sad. I just said, I said I was wrong about that. I said he played better than I thought. He, he said, "Here you go." I said, "I want to see this team." Let's get, football. let's get to the to just like Herbert better than Burrow. I still say that. Ooh, Let me read, read speaking of, I like hey, the handball. Hey, I love this. I love this. I, I can tell you the point hey, guard. I like this man playing point guard. I forgot he played point guard. What? I still say that. Let's you get said, to you said Jameis was the greatest, so you can't even go, say that about no quarterback. Let's get to Joe hey, Shiesty. Hey. That's what they call him in Cincinnati. Hey, hey, let, me, let, me, <laughs> let me read a couple. We're going to get to it. Let me just read a couple of these. Uh, Rob Costa said, uh, Shelton, Manny. Be like, I need to see Stafford down 25 with 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter and win by double digits before I believe. <laughs> That's a good one. You're funny, Rob. Rob's a funny guy. That's what it Rob's felt like. A funny guy. We got to get three onside You're kicks. You're funny, Rob. <laughs> hey, Matt Stafford is kicking it and trying to get it back, goddamn. It's only Stafford out there. No, nah, I just, it's, it's quite clear what I said. <laughs> It's quite, it's quite clear. I said the same thing I always say. You can't even repeat what you said. Before. I just said what I said. I said I want to see the Rams win the Super Bowl. That's what I said. Is that were they your Super they Bowl? They got pick? enough talent to were, win it. Were they your Super Bowl pick? No. I said I want to see them do it. They got enough talent. All right. Uh Johnny Mac Zero said 2015 Cam or 2021 Wham. Mm. Ooh. That's I'm tough. never gonna go against the black man. So 2015 give me Cam. Cam. Yeah, because 2015 Cam went to the Super Bowl. Yes. Wham didn't. Yes, sir. Uh, I, 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 I'll, I'll stick to that. Uh, Cass too said, as a Detroit native, Stafford struggling for the Bucks to come back is typical. Um, yet Stafford going on a game-winning drive to win is also expected. You know, another quarterback that got a whole bunch of game-winning drives people want to talk shit about is Matt Ryan. He does, Matty Ice. He got the nickname mm-hmm. for a reason. Rams have the 17th best defense in the league. Stop lying, Q. 17th? I didn't know that. Well, they didn't get Von Miller till later, so yeah, that I don't makes know what sense. the rank was after they got him, but I mean that's still, I mean you know, yeah, that's scary defense regards. They scare me. Uh, Ojaz the Bless said, "Q, you are almost right." <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go through a bunch of these. Uh, Dragon Knight forty nine said, "Nobody complained about overtime rules when the Pats beat the Falcons in overtime." Mm. 
Rules are fine. Play some defense. They never a lot. They did complain about that because people wanted to see Patrick Mahomes get a chance to uh said Falcons and Patriots. Oh, he said Falcons and Patriots? Right? Is that that that's what the question said? Falcons the Falcons. I, forget, I forgot how close oh, that I game too was. Much. I don't know why I heard Chiefs Patriots. But uh um, the Falcons. Damn, oh. he might be right. I don't remember. I that. forgot it went to OT. I forgot yeah. it went to OT too. <laughs> Tiglo said, um yeah. Oh, I did forget that too. That's a good point. Tigolo said, Nick deserves his flowers. That rapid reaction Saturday classic. Congrats to you and your Bengals fam. Mm-hmm. I hope you guys get a W on Sunday. I appreciate that, man. Going against the almost black man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you seen his baby? <laughs> oh, man, no. Should I I'm going to show you a picture of his baby. Bro, his baby white as hell. So I should be going against him, too. I fuck mm. with Patty, but he got a white baby. He got a white <laughs> wife. Marzi is too far. He said, hey, guys, thanks for the best sports combo. What's the next step for the Jaguars this offseason? Go get Sean Payton. Anything. <laughs> Anything. They're going to be one of my most interesting teams coming into next year. I'm watching yep. them because I'm watching Trevor Lawrence. Me too. Everybody came in with the hype yep. train like this motherfucker is supposed to be this, mm-hmm. that, and the third. We seem – I ain't going to say that. This draft is going to be crucial for them, though, because they need to get a couple playmakers. They'll I'll be, fuck with Trevor. Too, they'll be getting Travis ATN back, too, and and hopefully he will he will recover nicely. You know, that was his college mm-hmm. running mate. So, hopefully, they'll kind of help him out a little bit. And Robinson will come back, too. So, we'll see. God, dog, man. He need, he need a DNA. T- <laughs> he need to go get a DNA today. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't none of his daddy in that baby. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't none of his daddy. Dang. I forgot. He, that baby 75% white. I was saying, that ain't even the 25. <laughs> yeah. That baby whole milk Sometimes white. they come out like that and they dark. Darken over time, but yeah, yeah I don't know. My about kids got twenty five, but they I don't know how got, much they, melanin. They in that. See both, you can see both the pants. I was hella light when I when when mm-hmm. I was more damn near white. You know, I got <laughs> I got a little bit of melanin, but that's white. 